Hello, welcome to today's tutorial in which I'm going to use the free Google AdWords tool to do some keyword research and then I'm going to use Microsoft Excel to organize that keyword research into something that I can use. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go over to Google AdWords and when you open Google AdWords you get a little window up here that asks you to put a keyword in and then basically what happens is it gives you the suggestions for that keyword underneath. So I'm going to put something in that's fairly broad because we're going to narrow it down in a minute. Let's say I'm going to look for television. I want to look for 32 inch so I'm just going to put 32 in and then TV. Okay so 32 inch television and then I'll click search. Google wants me to put this uh, code in so if I just type that in and up it comes with its results. Now if you look at the screen here you can see that there are several different columns. In the first column it gives you the keyword so 32 TV was what I put in. I'm going to be interested really in this column here that tells me what the competition is um, and also this one global monthly searches. This tells me how many people across the world are searching for that particular search term and uh, if I'm going to write an article about this for example I want something that uh, hasn't got too much competition uh, but does have a lot of searches. I want something that people are actually looking for. These are the first 50. If I click this little button down at the bottom it'll take me to the next 50. I'm just going to download this lot now so the way you do that up here underneath keyword ideas you see this little box that says download I click on that and I can just download all 100. Uh, I'm going to choose CSV for Excel and click download. And now that the download is complete you can see that there are the uh, keywords in a zipped file uh, under my downloads. So I'm just going to double click that and there are columns that I'm not really going to use. Uh, in here for instance we've got an, an estimated average uh, cost per click. Um, obviously this is information that would be useful to you if you were going to do a pay-per-click campaign um, but I'm not really looking at it for that. Um, I'm just going to open these columns up so that you can see the keyword and these are the ones that I'm interested in. I need to see the competition I also see, need to see how many people have searched for it. The columns I don't want, so that's these with the, the dates in, I'm just going to ignore them because what I do want to do is I want to take this data, so if I just highlight that and copy it, I'm going to paste this into a template that I've already made but I can't just paste the data as it is because it'll paste the whole sheet. So what I'm going to do is go up to the paste button and choose paste special and then just choose values from the paste special dialog box and that will just paste in those values that I've copied for me. So now that we've got the data in the spreadsheet we're going to analyze it and there are several ways that you can do this. Uh, you probably notice that I've added another couple of columns onto the right of this uh, data. I've got a good and a best column and I've actually got a conditional function in the good column. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I've basically got two things going on here. I've got an if function and an and function because I've got two conditions that I want to be met. And basically what it says is that if this cell here be 2, that's the one that contains the percentage of competition, if that is less than a certain value, and I've put 79%, um, and the other condition is that the monthly searches are more than, I've chosen 100,000, if both those conditions are met, uh, Excel should should put a 1 in this cell here, otherwise you see the comma there and an empty pair of quotation marks means that Excel should leave the cell blank and because that is in the template when I pasted the data in as you can see it's gone through and it's put 1's in all the appropriate columns. Now the best way to simplify this is to just go back up and put a filter on this so if I just click in any cell go to the data tab and choose filter First of all let's look for just the ones in here. Take the tick out of select all and put it in one and say OK. And now we can go through and look at the best um, percentages you know for competition. Let's look for the lowest competition first. So 47, 61 and 69. So everything that's under 70%. How many does that give us? Well there you go. There's quite a few. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got seven there. This one obviously has got to be a best hasn't it? 69% competition and yet a million and a half searches. Um, so I'd want to put a, a one in that cell. Um, 
and then the next down from there 47% 450,000 the same for this one so they've got to be ones as well and obviously I'm also looking at whether I think I can write an article around that search term and I think I probably can for those four so all I need to do now is just to apply another filter to this uh, column so if I just select the ones in the best column as well it now leaves me with four and what I would do with these is I would either uh, take these and put them back into the Google AdWords tool again uh, if I wanted to build a bigger list uh, or I'd probably just take these titles and write an article about them individually now it's a little bit long-winded I know but uh, a way that you could speed this up would be to record a macro and in the next tutorial I'll show you how I do that as well thanks for watching